What could a young girl from the humble streets of Galicia, Spain, have done to become the toast of the Belle Epoque? This is not a story of royal birthright, nor of a silver spoon. This is the enigma of La Belle Otero. Born in 1868, La Belle Otero, or Carolina Otero, as she was known then, did not have an auspicious start. Raised in the poverty-stricken region of Galicia, her life was a far cry from the glitz and glamour that would later define her. Yet the spark of destiny was already kindling, waiting to ignite a path that would lead her to the heart of the Belle Epoque. As a child, she was a wildflower, dancing freely to the rhythm of her heart. With no formal training, she danced not to the tune of the orchestra, but to the symphony of life. She was a natural-born performer, and it was this raw talent that would prove to be her ticket to an extraordinary life. From the dusty streets of Galicia, she ventured to the grand boulevards of Paris. Here, in the City of Lights, she would become La Belle Otero, the beautiful Otero, a name that would echo through the halls of high society. Her allure was magnetic, her charm irresistible. Her dance, a mesmerizing spectacle that captivated the hearts of the elite and the imagination of the masses. La Belle Otero was more than just a dancer. She was a symbol of the Belle Epoque, an era of cultural and artistic explosion. She embodied the spirit of the time, a spirit of freedom, of exploration, of living life to the fullest. She was the living, breathing essence of the Belle Epoque, a beacon of light in a time of darkness, a symbol of hope in a world of despair. She was the toast of the town, the belle of the ball, the queen of the Belle Epoque. But how did she rise from the humble streets of Galicia to become the icon of an era? So how did this young maiden from Spain set the Belle Epoque ablaze? Born as Agustina Otero Iglesias in 1868, Otero's journey to fame was anything but ordinary. A Spanish gypsy girl from Galicia, she was born into a world of hardship and danger. Yet the winds of destiny had a different plan for young Agustina. Fleeing the constraints of her humble beginnings, she made her way to France, the heart of art and culture. France, a land where the arts were as appreciated as bread and wine, was the perfect stage for the young and passionate Agustina. And so, she became La Belle Otero, an embodiment of grace, beauty and fiery spirit. As a dancer, Otero was in a league of her own. She was not just a dancer, but a performer, weaving tales of passion, love and tragedy with each sway of her hips, each flutter of her fan. Her performances were a spectacle to behold, a feast for the senses. Her beauty was as captivating as her talent. With arm and shaped eyes that sparkled with mischief and allure, a figure that was statuesque and graceful, and a smile that could light up the darkest corners, Otero was nothing less than a goddess on the stage. But it was not just her beauty and talent that set her apart. It was her charisma, her magnetic charm, that drew people to her. She had a knack for commanding attention, for making people feel seen, and for leaving an indelible mark on their hearts. She was a star that shone bright and intense, captivating everyone in her orbit. La Belle Otero was not just a dancer, she was a phenomenon. Her performances were not just dances, they were an experience, a journey into the depths of passion and the heights of ecstasy. She danced with the fervour of one who had seen the world's harsh realities and had chosen to rise above them. She danced not just with her body, but with her soul, making every performance a piece of her heart laid bare for the world to see. However, Otero's rise to fame was not just about her dance, it was about her relationships as well. Otero was not just a dancer, she was a courtesan, a companion to some of the most powerful men of her time. Indeed, La Belle Otero was a woman of many layers. To some, she was a mesmerizing dancer, to others, a captivating courtesan. But every role she played was imbued with an inimitable charm, a charm that enticed kings, aristocrats, and eminent businessmen alike. Consider the roster of her reputed lovers, a veritable who's who of late 19th and early 20th century power players. There were six crowned heads among them, including King Edward VII of England, King Alfonso XIII of Spain, and even the Russian Tsar Nicholas II. Each was bewitched by Otero's allure, ensnared in her web of enchantment. But it wasn't just royalty that fell under Otero's spell. Wealthy businessmen too were captivated by her. Take, for instance, the tycoon William Kissam Vanderbilt. 
His fascination with Otero was such that he was rumored to have gifted her a pearl necklace worth a small fortune. These relationships, though scandalous by the standards of the time, were instrumental in shaping Otero's career and lifestyle. They provided her with the means to live luxuriously, to travel the world and to continue her artistic endeavors. She, in turn, offered her companions a taste of her vibrant spirit and vivacious charm. Yet these relationships were more than mere transactions. They were testament to Otero's magnetic personality, her ability to draw people in, to command their attention, their admiration, and yes, their devotion. She was a woman who lived by her own rules, in an era when women were often confined to restrictive societal norms. In the final analysis, it was Otero's audacious spirit and unapologetic lifestyle that set her apart. She was a woman who dared to live as she pleased, who dared to love as she wished, and who dared to be unabashedly herself. Yet it wasn't just her relationships that defined Otero, it was her audacious spirit and unapologetic lifestyle. Otero was a woman ahead of her time, living life on her own terms and setting trends along the way. In an era where women were expected to be demure and reserved, Otero was a whirlwind of audacity and charisma. She was a maverick, a trailblazer, a woman who dared to live life on her own terms. Her lifestyle was as unconventional as it was captivating. Otero was a fashion icon, setting trends with her daring choices. Her signature style, flamboyant and extravagant, was a reflection of her vivacious personality. She was known for her love of pearls and diamonds, and her audacious outfits often featured these precious gems. She was also known for her famous black satin corset, adorned with strings of pearls, which created a stir in society and soon became a symbol of her unique style. But it wasn't just her fashion choices that set Otero apart. Her public persona was equally daring. She was unapologetic about her background, her profession and her desires. She was a woman who refused to be confined by societal norms, who boldly expressed her sexuality and her independence. Otero's unconventional lifestyle had a profound impact on society's perceptions of women during the Belle Époque. She challenged the status quo, proving that women could be independent, successful and unapologetically themselves. She became a symbol of female empowerment and liberation, a beacon for others to follow. Her audacity, her charm and her intelligence made her a force to be reckoned with. She was a woman who knew her worth and wasn't afraid to demand it. Otero's life was a testament to the power of self-belief and determination. She was a woman who refused to be confined by societal norms, who boldly expressed her sexuality and her independence. Otero's unconventional lifestyle had a profound impact on society's perceptions of women during the Belle Epoque. She challenged the status quo, proving that women could be independent, successful and unapologetically themselves. She became a symbol of female empowerment and liberation, a beacon for others to follow. But what was the legacy that Otero left behind? Otero's tale is more than a rags-to-riches story. It's a tale of a woman who defied societal norms and left an indelible mark on the Belle Epoque. The mesmerizing La Belle Otero, with her flamboyant life and audacious spirit, became an icon of the Belle Epoque. Her influence extended far beyond the realms of dance and entertainment, seeping into the world of fashion, societal norms and the arts. She was a trendsetter, her unique style and daring costumes becoming the talk of Paris. Women aspired to emulate her, while men were drawn to her magnetic charm and vivacious personality. But Otero's impact was not merely superficial. She was a woman who defied the conventional expectations of her time. In an era when women were expected to be demure and submissive, Otero was outspoken, independent and unapologetically herself. She refused to be confined by societal norms, choosing instead to live life on her own terms. Her boldness and authenticity were revolutionary, challenging the status quo and paving the way for future generations of women. In the realm of the arts, Otero was an inspiration. Her life, filled with passion, drama and intrigue, became the muse for numerous artists, writers and filmmakers. Her story was told and retold, immortalized in books, plays and films, contributing to the rich tapestry of the Belle Epoque. 
As the curtains fell on Otero's life in 1965, the world mourned the loss of a true icon, yet her legacy lived on. Her spirit, her audacity, and her unwavering belief in living life to the fullest continue to inspire and resonate with people even today. And so we remember La Belle Otero, not just as a renowned dancer and courtesan, but as a woman who dared to defy, dared to dream, and dared to live. A woman who, in her own unique way, changed the world. La Belle Otero, a name synonymous with the Belle Epoque, a woman who lived life on her own terms, and a legacy that continues to inspire.